The restaurant industry is a hot sector right now. Joining me at the ICR Exchange, Del Frisco CEO Mark Badansky. Thank you so much for joining us. Today. My pleasure, Lori. Thank so, you. Tell me your perception. What is going on in this restaurant sector right now? It is just so hot. There are so many things going on. What do you see? Well, let me tell you what. The whole nation has turned into you know a foodie nation. Everyone wants to be out. Uh, you see it every restaurant you go in. People taking pictures of their food. They're tasting. They're they're really creative. Chefs have been celebrities. So for us, and anyone in the industry, it's a good time to be in the restaurant business. Absolutely. So tell me about the consumer, though. How are they sort of holding up? And I guess really more importantly, because your company serves more full dining experiences, how is that holding up to the whole fast casual phenomenon? Fast casual is doing great. But our three brands primarily cater to the upper middle class and the affluent. And they've done extremely well uh, coming out of this recession. And they're spending again. Uh, they're enjoying food. They're, they're looking for a reason to have a good time. And that's what we try to provide them. What about weather, though? Has the recent cold snap or any of the other sort of really crazy weather patterns we've been having lately, has that affected sales? You know, weather comes and goes every single year. And we do not use that as an excuse. The, we had ice in the Midwest in Dallas. You know, we had you know weather last year in October. We had weather last year in, in February. We concentrate on what we can control within our four walls. Yeah. So Del Frisco's went public in 2012, correct? Right. So tell me a little bit about the difference between being a public and a private company. The main difference is I get to come to conferences like this and talk to you, uh, which is nice. Uh, but no, I, I really think my job as the CEO is to keep the public uh, activity away from the operators because they're so good at what they do. And they, they take care of our employees first and our guests second. And as long as myself and our, our CFO uh, do our job with the public market and investors, we'll be fine. We will return great shareholder value by being great operators, first and foremost. So what are the growth plans for 2014? How many restaurants do you plan to open this year? Well, last year we opened six Del Frisco's Grills, and they're all doing extremely well. well we've publicly announced that in 2014 we'll open one Double Eagle in Washington, D.C., in an exciting new site, City Center. And we'll open up four or five uh, grills also this, this next year in incredible locations across the country. How is the health care law affecting uh, the restaurants? Well, I, I, in general, the health care law uh, is, is a negative uh, to some restaurants with their P&L, but we're in a little better position. Historically, uh, we have given the most lucrative benefits to our employees with health care. If you're an employee working 25 hours a week, we provide health care for you. And after one year, we pick up a good part of your cost. After two years working 25 hours a week, we pick up your entire health care bill. We've always done that. It's part of our models, baked into our numbers. So even though there'll be some increases in health care costs, we're pretty well situated to take care of them. Del Frisco CEO Mark Badansky, thank you so much. You. And I'm Lori Kulikowski with The Street in Orlando, Florida.